Albinism is a genetic condition uh, that uh, is really a lack of uh, melanin pigmentation in the skin, in the hair, in the eyes. And it affects about 1 in 1,400 people in Tanzania, uh, compared to about 1 in 20,000 in the West. And what we've found is that people are living in constant fear. Uh, and that's because uh, there are widespread myths that people with albinism have magical powers, that the body parts of someone with albinism will bring you good luck and make you wealthy. And so they're targeted for their lives. Between 2000 and 2015, there were 75 reported killings, another 62 attacks on people with albinism, and 16 grave robberies. And what happens is that people with albinism, especially children, uh, they are living isolated in their communities because uh, of this fear. And when it comes to children, they're often going to small schools that are only with children with albinism instead of actually being a part of the community. These schools are, are, are included in temporary shelters, which are often far away from their communities and their families, and it leaves them quite isolated from the rest of their communities. What's critical that needs to happen in Tanzania is that there needs to be enforcement of the laws. There needs to be more investment in health services for people with albinism. Something as simple as having affordable sunscreen, having protective hats, uh, these are things that are not available to people with albinism, and they're also not aware that they even need those things in order to protect themselves from sun, uh, particularly since they're very susceptible to skin cancer. One thing that really needs to happen, though, in terms of the government efforts is really to step up public education, uh, because you know, without education, the stigma that people with albinism face will continue.